Hey guys, so in this episode, we are doing a cab mount chop on a uh, fourth generation Toyota 4Runner. So if you can see here, I've uh, traced out where I am going to cut. I am going to cut from here up across and then that way. Okay, the reason is because this is a 35 uh, inch tire and it is rubbing right here on full turn. So, um, I'll show you how it rubs. I'm inside the truck right now, and you can see because it's on a body lift, it sounds okay for an up and down little sidewalk, but this is where it rubs. When I turn my steering wheel this way, you can hear it. There, okay. However, Okay, however, it doesn't rub on the other side. Okay, so if I turn it to the passenger side full lock, it'll rub. This side doesn't rub. Well, sort of rub. Okay, sort of rubs. Other than that, uh, it drives okay. This is what I've done so far. Just letting you guys know I'm the only guy doing this so um, that's why I'm not showing you how I do it live so as you can see I've removed the uh, uh, cab mount isolator here okay uh, it's important for you to remove this because if you don't do that when you weld here the heat will burn the isolator which is this thing right here okay uh, my buddy uh, Zhang added a uh, a spacer, uh, a, a body spacer here to uh, uh, lift his truck up a bit. So this is what we've done. How I did this: put my hydraulic jack, a wind block, goes up to there, okay, onto the cabin, and you have to remove the bolt here. And uh, let me see if I can see the bolt. Uh, I think it's inside the cabin. But you have to remove the bolt, the nut, everything here. Don't misplace them or else your doo doo uh, here. And uh, the access, how you access this bad boy is. I'll show you. Through here. Okay, here's the bolt. Ooh. This should be a grade 8 bolt. Okay, 10.9. Okay, so. That should be okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is how you access this bad boy right here. Don't misplace anything right here because everything's gonna go back. You peel this off right here, like that. And uh, you don't really need to use uh, screwdrivers. There's this one fake bolt of a screw that holds this panel together. And it's this right here. And then this little thing right here covers that hole right there. And that's that. It's really easy, but very time consuming. This is the proper way, okay, of doing this without burning your plastic bush, your, your nylon bushing here, rubber bushing. You don't do this, you might have a vehicle fire or something else. So that's what I'm doing right now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, fabricate a plate here and a plate that goes there. Um, and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so this is my template right here. As you can see, I'm gonna get some scrap piece of metal, draw this template here and weld, the, weld it on, okay? Okay, so these are my templates. That's one of them and this is the other one so we're gonna go and tack it on okay we're gonna tack it on and we're gonna weld it on okay so this is how I tack it in all right it's tacked in and uh, I'm gonna weld it I'll show you the aftermath so it's still smoking hot so this is how I do it let's weld it on okay so I'm gonna grind this thing off all right, she's done. This is how she looks like. Body mount chop. She just needs a coat of paint 
and she's ready to be mounted. We're gonna go to the other side as well. That's how she looks like. She's painted. Here's a shot on the driver's side. Okay, and cut. And she looks really nice. She just needs to be painted. Okay guys, so she is done. And you can see there, there's plenty of space for the tire to uh, articulate and turn. Um, this is a full turn on this side. And uh, let's see, let's go look at the other side. Let's see, that's how this side looks like. Okay, so let's uh, go turn the other way, full turn, and see what happens. Remember earlier, it was rubbing when we turned the steering wheel all the way to the passenger side. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here it is. All the way to the passenger side, we have one finger space. That's a great improvement okay, after this chop. So that's 37 or 35 inches of uh, tires underneath the uh, Forerunner. And it'll never rub again. Okay. So let's go take it for a test drive to see it still, if it still rubs. I am inside the car. Okay, so full turn. Okay, full turn and it ain't rubbing none all right okay oh what happened this thing is so torquey wow it's super torquey okay so we're gonna make a right turn here to see if it still rubs and nope, no rubbing at all. 